ARL or average ground length. So the learning goals of this video are to define the ARL and to calculate the ARL. Now, the mean of the sample is distributed as a normal with mean mu and standard deviation sigma of x bar. So x double bar is the average of all the means. Now, let's say that p is the probability of a point to be outside of the control limits. This is the mean, the upper control limit defined by x plus 3 sigma x and the lower limit is defined by x double bar minus 3 of sigma x. So the probability of being outside of the control limit is highlighted in these two regions. Now, if we plot the normal distribution, so we have mu and uh, the points mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma are over here and the probability to be outside of the control points is the probability of the highlighted in red. And from before, we know that this area is equal to 99.7%. Now, this is for a population with the standard deviation sigma. Our difference it will be that we have the standard deviation of a sample. So if this distance will vary slightly. Now, let's say that the probability is to be outside of this point is 0 0.001. So in other words, 1 over 1000. So that means that from 1000 observations, one point is out of the control limit. So we can say that the ARL is equal to 1 over P, 1000. So the average ground length ARL is the number of samples that will be observed on average before a point plots outside of the control limits. If P is the probability of a given point plots outside of the control limits, then the ARL is equal to 1 over P. Okay, let's have an example. A process has a mean four and a standard deviation of one. The sample size is n equal to five. Now, if we plot this, so we have our mean is equal to four and we have the limit mu minus three sigma x. Remember this sigma is of the sample and mu plus 3 sigma x. So the probability to be in this region is defined as the probability of x being less than mu minus 3 sigma x bar plus the probability of x be greater than mu plus 3 sigma x bar. So this is the lower control limit and this is the upper control limit. So in this case if sigma is equal to 1 and n is equal to 5, the standard deviation of the sample is equal to sigma divided by the square root of n, which is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 5. So sigma of x bar is equal to 0 0.447. Now, the UCL, the upper control limit, is 4 plus 3 multiplied by 1 over the square root of 5 and it's equal to 5.34 and the lower control limit it will be 4 minus 3 multiplied by 1 divided by the square root of 5 which is equal to 2.65 so these are the two points what, that we just compute and to compute the probability we have to find the z number so z for 3.5.34 and C for 2.65. So which are 5.34 minus 4 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, 1 divided by the square root of 5. So the Z value is 2.95 and 
the C value for 2.65 computed in a similar way. So the value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation is equal to minus 3.04. The probability is equal to 5. So this is uh, from the table the cumulative density function of minus 3.04 plus 1 minus 5 of 2.95. So remember because in the table the value that we have is the integral from minus infinity to a volume and for the upper control limit what we want is the opposite so we have 1 minus 5 of 2.95 which is equal to 0 0.0027 so the ARL is 1 over P and that's equal to 360. So that means that every 360 will find a point that is out of the control limits. Now, in this example, we are asked to look for a special case that shift the process mean by 4.5. So we need to find the new error. So the mean is shift, the limits are the same. but the mean is shift to the right to a new value of 4.5 so for this particular case this x bar is distributed as normal with this mean and this standard deviation the standard deviation remains the same so we have to recalculate the values for z now with the mean changing for 4.5 and do the same calculation and we found that p is equal to 0 0.03 and 1 over p is equal to 33.2 that means that every 33 units there will be a point that is out of the control limit